so a few months ago, I got this new V3 one-up dropper post in the mail, and I wanted to go through it, compare it to the old V2, take them apart, show you what's new inside, and give you my thoughts. If you want to pick up one of these for yourselves, check out Jensen USA. I'll throw a link in the description as well as a little thing to click up there. Let's get into it. First of all, let's talk about the new claims. This guy is supposed to be lighter, stronger, and more reliable, and that's basically what we're always looking for. Let's talk about that weight difference. The claimed weight difference is pretty big with my post being the 210, 31.6, being a claimed 538 versus the outgoings 590. So that's pretty significant. So the next thing that I found interesting was they went to a cartridge rather than the system they had before where you could add air to it. I'm actually a pretty big fan of that. I've been running dropper posts basically since they came out. And I think dropper posts are one of the biggest improvements to more aggressive mountain biking out there right now. Back in the day running a reverb, man, I got really good at rebuilding those. And that was always such a pain, even as I got faster at it. When I first started running a cartridge post, whether that was the Giant or Bontrager version, it was great to just swap out that cartridge when things went bad. Moving on to this guy. Let's pull it apart and see what's going on inside. So let's see how easy it is to take this thing apart. First, gotta undo the collar. Then, loosen this. It's a size 14. And finally, we got a couple bolts to remove. So you can see disassembly is pretty similar to the old post, but that's where the differences can be viewed. You have twice as many pins for alignment there, as well as more bushings and longer bushings. So twice the bushings, twice the pins, and a longer top bushing here. The other th cool thing to note is that instead of threading into the tube, like on the old one, it threads over the tube. This allows for a more robust upper bushing, which increases reliability, and one of the ways 1UP increases the service interval. So that gets us to the only issue I've come across so far. While 1UP did decrease the stack height, and that what they mean there is when you have the seat all the way down, how tall it is by three millimeters, they actually increased overall length, at least on the 210. So this is the new post. It measures right at 545. That's what it claims on the website. And this is the old post, and it measures right at 540, which is also what is claimed on the website. So if you do have a 210, unfortunately, your post is now five millimeters longer. And while that's not an issue on a lot of modern bikes, it is an issue on the Santa Cruz bikes, which I have a few of right now. So that gets us to how this thing performs. Overall, I can say that it's an improvement. It's smoother, it's quicker, and it just works. One of the biggest things I've always loved about the 1UP dropper is that it just works. The biggest downside to the old one is it rattled a bit. So if I put this down, there's a little rattle noise to it, and I've messed with the pins. I know that's what people will say but was never able to get rid of that. And you can hear it on the descents. The new one. Completely gone. So really good job. One up. Thanks for reducing even more noise on my bike. So is it night and day? No, not really. But as one of the more affordable options, it now feels as premium as anything else out there. One up has also been just about the benchmark in reliability. And while I only have one month on this post so far, if history is an indicator, then I'm sure 1UP hit it out of the park once again. Thanks for watching and please hit that like button and subscribe. Pick one up from Jensen USA through the link in the description. Again, it's no cost to you and helps the channel keep growing. See you next week. Oh, that was such a good corner.
If there was anything worth filming, it would have been that corner a second ago. That was insane. What, you jam me up and then you just leave me? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that was good. So good.